I'm okay, I'm okay. Those Bokoblins thought they had the drop on me, but they all lost and I all won. Hey guys, welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii. Let's unlock this door and fight our next boss. And since it's a fire-themed area, can we expect a fire-themed boss? We had a fire-themed boss in the Earth Temple, but the Earth Temple was fire-themed, so... I don't know, it could go either way here. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know that laugh. You again! Yo, those are very nice. I know nothing about that. <laughs> Rainbows. There isn't one. Honest. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Hey! What is it with Zelda villains teleporting everywhere? Oh, dude, come on. Don't touch me. Personal space. Personal space. Especially if you're giggly. What's she gonna do? Wake him up with a letter in the morning? Yeah, I remember. We met again in the ancient cistern and you didn't do anything. I see your corporal punishment and I promote it to Sergeant Slaughter. Well, if you want that gate of time, you're going to have to let me through to that flame. I need to power up my sword before I can activate the gate. <laughs> Is that the ultimate shield? Are you a homunculus? Okay, you're getting a little weird. You can stop now. Body hair? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, you already said the threat of fate thing. Sounds more like a tampon string than a thread. Okay, so our boss fight is against Girahim. Just like in the last battle with him, we want to trick his hand and go in one direction while we strike from the other. And he has these red blades, and if we time it correctly, we can knock them right back at him. Now, another thing about those blades is you can't strike in the directions that they're in. So, see how he has them on the side? Now we have to do a vertical strike. Let's get his hand to stop, trick him, and then there we go. Let's see if we can knock these back at him. There we go. All right, he's got four of them, so we can pretty much do any horizontal or vertical strike. Knock them back. All right, so far so good. And now we gotta do a diagonal strike. Oh, no, 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 come on, shake away. There we go, ho. Oh. All right, this should be a little easier. I thought I had him. All right, he's moving on to the next phase, pulling out the swords now. Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. 
All right, these things circle around us. Do a horizontal strike to knock them right back at him. All right, he's jumping in the air, run away, and then attack him when he's got his sword stuck in the ground. Okay, let's see if he approaches us. There we go, just like when fighting a Stolfos. Look for the opening when he crosses his swords and strike accordingly. All right, strike these accordingly. Vertical. Horizontal. Oh, that didn't work out. And another vertical. There we go. You could also just use your shield to block those. Whoa. Knock these back at him with a horizontal spin attack. There we go. Oh, no. That sucked. Hey, what are you doing? I totally had you there. Try to keep him in the center so you have room to run away whenever he jumps in the air like that. Whoa. Come on now. All right. Let's get our distance. Horizontal. Another horizontal. Oh, come on. And diagonal. There we go. Gonna cross your swords this time? No, you're gonna strike at us. Okay. Best thing to do there when he just attacks is to backflip away from him. I mean, you can do the shield bash, but it's very hard to time. And diagonal. There we go. All right, that was perfect. Come on, bring it on. Any more? Okay, vertical spin attack to knock that back at him when he does the arc or when he does the overhead arc anymore and vertical and horizontal can we get a perfect this time diagonal all right not bad and that's it i thought you were gonna take it easy on me hey you started it yeah, we saw that from your description at the beginning of the battle. Hey, I'm at least 17, 18 years old. I mean, not really a grown man, but not a little kid. Oh, melodrama, melodrama. Whatever happened to making my ears bleed... Okay, another boss defeated, another heart container. All right, what does that bring us up to? Oh, it looks like we only have one more heart container to uh, fill. I guess we'll be doing that with pieces of heart. Since this is pretty much the second to last dungeon of the game, and I don't think we get a piece of heart in the next one. Because there isn't really a boss in the next one. And then other than that, we got the life medals that are sitting in the storage, and that'll make 20 heart containers. All right, let's get this last flame. This one actually looks like fire. <laughs> that look says it all right there. You know the routine, Link. Stick the sword up. Hmm. I can't decide. Does she look cooler in the red flames or the green flame? I had the blue flame, not so much because she just kind of blends in with it. All right, now we got a Sith lightsaber. What form is it going to take now? I know that sword! I know that sword! I've seen that sword in other games. This is the Sword of Evil's Bane, the mighty and powerful Master Sword. Although it doesn't look all that powerful yet. It's not glowing. 
It looks kind of like when we pulled it out of the pedestal uh, in Wind Waker before powering it up. Um, Fi, this rash is getting worse. Awesome. And it's got that cool sheath, too. All right, to the sealed temple. Now that we got all three of these flames, we can finally activate the Gate of Time. Sure, why not? Okay, well, before returning to the sealed temple, Remember this gossip stone right in this cave? He told us that there's a piece of heart hidden somewhere in the area. Well, now that we can burrow, I, we can now get that. Oh boy. Uh, hey, you know what? Hey, there's a blue rupee right there. I want to get that. I think there's just a green rupee up in the corner. Yeah, it's just green. I'm going to ignore it. Okay, we have some fairies in here. Do I have an empty bottle? Uh, I, I, I want to keep it empty. I already have two fairies. Three to go. All right. Okay. Anyway, now that we got that piece of heart, I'll meet you back at the sealed temple. Whoa. What is this? This is a railroad track? Oh, it looks like somebody's been busy. Did Groose make this? I mean, he's the only one here. I mean, he's the only one physically who looks like he's physically capable of doing something like this. And I guess the old woman could swing a hammer. I just don't think it would have results like this. Hey, old lady. I'm back. All right. Hey, Groose, how you doing? Did you make that thing? Yeah, it's actually, uh, pretty cool. I mean, I don't see the use in it. I mean, I guess you could use it for something. Uh-oh. You didn't really think this was going to be that easy, did you? Well, why do we even bother carrying this thing around if it just keeps waking that thing up? Oh, you're not going to cower in the corner this time? Oh, what is it, a weapon? Sounds pretty good. I'm excited to see what this is. Okay, well, we took him out one time. Let's do it again. This time it looks like Groose has something up his sleeve. Alright. Are you going to help this time? I'll contain myself. Well, that's a big bomb. <laughs> the Groosinator. Yeah, I got nothing to say about that. Speechless is the right word. Well, that is impressive.
Did you make the bomb too? Because I don't see them growing any anywhere. Okay, so for right now it is useless. All right, let's get down there and kick its ass once more. Does it? It has arms this time. Oh, and it wants a hug. Yay! Two boss fights in one video. All right, let's get away from its feet. Okay, well, let's try to get on top of its head. We'll use our friendly little air geyser right here Let's gain some ground on this beast Come on now Excellent Oh boy, it's trying to take a shortcut now. It's climbing. It's using those arms for something. Gross, now would be a really good time to get that weapon working. Awesome. Great. All right, let's call him up. All right, we can adjust the machine's position with the control stick and aim with our Wii remote. Sounds good. Launch bomb with A. Great, let's just get to it. I don't think I'm gonna forget those controls. All right, no need to really move it around right now, but that's how you do it. Let's just launch a bomb right in its face. Okay, you can let go of the wall now. Okay. You get down. Whoa, okay, come on. All right, let's jump on this big ugly's head. Spin and vertical strike. Now he's angry. Okay, let's get back in that air geyser and try to gain some more ground. I can see Groose moving into position over there. Hopefully he gets ready by the next time this thing tries to climb. Oh, he's already ready, huh? Awesome, sounds good to me. How about some bombs? I know how you feel, buddy. I've had those long nights of drinking that gives me headaches like that. Oh boy, he's doing the squirmy worm now. That is no good. Let's try to get up here as fast as we can. All right, this should be good. Dive, 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 dive. Stop doing the worm now. You can stop doing the worm now. Okay, you getting up? No, you're going up further. Wow, okay, this is gonna be a problem. All right, Groose, you ready? Get into position and let him have it. All right, are we good? Are we good? Where are you? All right, let's jump down on him. Oh boy, don't shake me off. Don't shake me off. And he's done. Wow, this must be a pretty big explosion. My Wii Remote's shaking hard. Mm. 
Awesome. Okay. Oh, we got to jump all the way back down there to do this. All right. Skyward strike the ceiling spike. I'm a potent. Didn't know it. Well, it looks like the pattern is a little bit more complicated this time. All right. Down. Diagonal. Hor diagonal. Horizontal. Diagonal again. Like a sideways hourglass. Epic pose. Hey. I guess I do owe you. Yes, all thanks to me. I just use the geysers to get back up here. It's the quickest way. Yes, I will give credit where credit is due. Groose was very helpful. And the Grusinator was pretty cool. Yeah, what is that thing anyway? <laughs> Root. Get it? Because it's underground? Ha! Okay, less swords, more bombs. All right, so let's hit the sword with a let's hit the gate with a skyward strike. But first, let's save. I mean, <laughs> we keep getting interrupted every time we pull this thing out. All right, let's see what happens. Ha! Oh, it triggered a cutscene. Whoa. Oh, great. I hit it too hard and broke it. They're playing Tetris with themselves. Huh. Uh, they look like something that belongs in the Twilight Realm. Okay, awesome! It's a Stargate! Link, you better move before the instability pops out and kills you. Oh, that's not gonna happen? Okay, it's less like the gate from Stargate and more like the gates on... Chrono Trigger. How far to the past? You're never gonna tell us, are you? So, how do I go through this thing? It looks pretty solid to me.
good on you, Groose. You stand, you stay by, you, you stand back and defend the fort while I go get the girl. Well, I guess it wasn't that important. You just walk away like Chester Chicken Hawk. Go get yourself a chicken. What's that? Okay, well, that's over and done with. So how do I get through this thing? Is it watery like a Stargate? Do I just walk through it? And it keeps spinning. It doesn't look like it's very safe to walk through. Oh, okay, so it is watery. Well, that's a little weird. It opens up into the Twilight Zone. So how am I gonna step through with all those gears spinning in the way? Oh, they're just holograms. Temple of Hylia? Huh. It looks just like the sealed temple. Hey, Impa! Have you seen Zelda around here? I saw you go through the gate with her. I helped you. I'm handling it all right. Oh, that's right. It must have been called something different a long time ago before they sealed it. Whose demise? Oh, so that just happened. We'll just say it's 2,000 years. It's a good round number. Oh, so Zelda's behind that door, is she? Well, I guess we better go reunite with her. I mean, we went through all this trouble, so might as well get the girl. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching That LP Show. Have a one that is good.